I'm gonna wrap two two Vedas into two videos into one video. So I'm gonna post just a little clip of over the weekend from yesterday, which would have been my yesterday's video every day in August. So today, today we did a lot of chores, or some chores, and then um, we went to a swimming lagoon in a far off town, and then we came back and we had hamburgers on the grill, and now, and we listened to survivor music, and now we have tiki torches and hot chocolate, let's see, can we get hot people in here with hot chocolate? Little little cups of hot chocolate. Let's see here. And I'm in my bathroom. And Mrs. Silly's in her bathroom. <laughs> and uh, Mr. P is uh, has raising a toast. And Mr. T has his cocoa. And we have our citronella candles going because the mosquitoes are out. And Mr. F has his cocoa. And then Jack is having a field day. He wants to play ball. Okay, Jack, ready? Go get it. And that's how we're spending our day. I sold the kayak. It was a little bit, um, I don't know, it's a little bit liberating to, to, to let it go. It feels, I feel, I feel relief in, in not having the kayak anymore. Uh, so I certainly will have another kayak someday in my life. Um, interestingly enough, my cousins is going to give me her canoe that she's had for, for uh, decades. It's been to the Philippines, it's been uh, to Colorado. Uh, she said she's used it to hide from hailstorms and uh, moonlight canoes, canoe trips to watch meteor showers, all kinds of, uh, lots of history to this canoe. So that'll be fun to have a canoe. It'll be something that I can do more with uh, the boys and myself, not just a solitary recreation. What else? Um, Mrs. Silly and I signed up for solar. It's kind of a lease. Mrs. Silly's sister and a good friend of ours both have done solar leasing where they don't pay for it. The, the, the company that does the solar brings it in, installs it, upgrades your electrical, and then you negotiate a certain price with them uh, for kilowatts per hour. Looks like I should have shaved better. Anyway, um, with a family of five, we're in, uh, I'm saying a lot of us today. It's disappointing. Family of five, we are in a high tier for PG&E for using electricity. The goal with solar is to bring us to a low tier, not to use, not to become self-sufficient with the solar, but the more the solar panels produce, we just pay for the power that's produced. The less we pay PG&E, but the more we pay the solar company. But the price we pay the solar company is less than what we pay PG&E. It's kind of high tide today. I guess this is a typical San Francisco summer morning. Semi-summer, foggy. It was a busy weekend. My father's memorial service is next weekend. Uh, I'm in charge of putting a slideshow together for it. I haven't started. The kids start school this week. Mrs. Silly starts her work this week. It's a busy week. I've been enjoying watching some videos. I watched Zen Archer's response 
to the video I made talking about my paper out and I thoroughly enjoyed Zen's video. He shared with us uh, his paper out and how he, he and his brother were working on them and at one point his father had used the station wagon and dropped the back down. Old Ford station wagon. Similarities there. We had a station wagon. I guess that's the minivan. The station wagons are the minivan of the era, right? Loved our station wagon. Little rumble seat in the back. That was a that was the car six seat. Sitting backwards looking out the window that rolled down. Ken River Vlogger's video about motorcycles and his father and his first motorcycle and his cars. And the similarity there is my father bought my first scooter for me. Purchased it and I paid him back. And I had agreed a certain amount of payments and, and monthly payments to my father. It was mainly to have transportation to my first restaurant job. Which was in a little town next to us but far enough away that I couldn't just ride a bike and I'd get off late so I would need you know some kind of transportation to get home. I was only 15. It's interesting my, they, my parents weren't like concerned that I didn't have my license yet they were more concerned about you know safety and making sure you know I had transportation. I paid that scooter off with that restaurant job held on to that scooter for some quite some time and I sold it to a friend of mine's sister who was going to Chico State. Barely fit that scooter in the back of my Datsun V210 and I drove it all the way up to Chico. And sold it to her. Sold it for a good price. I mean, a, a lot of money. I mean, I think I sold it to her for 500 and it probably wasn't worth it, but she bought it. And I remember her telling me later that she didn't, she thought she paid too much for it. I had a, a Honda dirt bike after that with street tires. It's actually a pretty powerful dirt bike. It was a 750. At one point the clutch at one point the clutch had broke and to get home I did the the shifting with RPM where you rev it and then you can feel the when you can shift, you can kind of feel when you can shift it in. And my third motorcycle, Mrs. Silly bought me in Santa Barbara for my birthday. It was a 19, I want to say a 1979 Kawasaki KZ650. That was a good bike. And like Ken mentioned, he used his motorcycle for going back to work and stuff. That's pretty much what I did with mine in Santa Barbara. There were some occasional rides up in the San Ynez Valley. And one time I did ride from Santa Barbara up to the Bay Area here on it. And that was a miserable journey. No idea what I was doing. I woke up early had no gloves went up over to over um, in the the mountains there in Santa Barbara down in the San Ynez Valley and just was freezing my hands off stopped in Santa Maria <coughs> at a gas station thankfully they had gloves at a gas station they weren't motorcycle gloves they were just gloves and I bought those but you know holding Holding on to the handlebars and just rattling for six hours, it just, whew. I'm finding it particularly hard to vlog on weekends. It's like that's when I'm with the family, so. We are just, um, just kind of busy with family, you know, so. There's no solitary time or, unless I stay up late. Which I do, but sometimes I just don't feel like vlogging. 